Hello students, welcome back to Accountancy class. I am Shweta Jay from Commerce Department, Gopal Swami PU College, Mysore. In last class, we have solved problem based on PNL statement. In today's session, let's solve two more problems based on profit and loss statement. Here is your example problem. From the following details, you are required to prepare statement of profit and loss for the year ended 31st March 2018 as per Schedule 3 of the Companies Act 2013. Plant and machinery 40,000, furniture 20,000, share capital 4 lakh, sales 3 lakh, purchases 1 lakh 80,000, trade payables 30,000, depreciation on plant and machinery 4,000, amortization of goodwill 6,000, interest on debentures 30,000, interest on borrowings 20,000 and tax 30%. Now we are going to prepare profit and loss statement as per Schedule 3 of Companies Act. So, you have to consider only the items of profit and loss statement and you should ignore the items of balance sheet. So, now we have a problem with profit and loss statement problem. So, you have to profit and loss statement related to the items you consider. That is, the balance sheet related to the items you ignore. You have to be confused about the balance sheet. बैलेंस शीट के रिलेटेड आगे रो आइटम्स सन्ना कुटेर तारे, सो अली प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस स्टेटमेंट अन्ना नाउ प्रिपेयर मार्ड बे का दरे, प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस स्टेटमेंट आइटम्स ये नहीं लाए रहते, अदन मात्रा कंसीडर मार्डी, एंड यू शुड इग्नोर बैलेंस शीट आइटम्स। बिफोर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम now let's write the format of profit and loss statement. As you all know the format of profit and loss statement you have to write the heading correctly. Statement of profit and loss for the year ended 31st to 3 2018 Schedule 3 of Company Act 2013. First column particular, second column note number and the third column is amount. First you have to write the heading income. So under that the first item is revenue from operation it is also called as sales the second item is other income when you add together you will get total income a next the second major heading in profit and loss statement is expenses so under that first one cost of material consumed and the second one is purchase of stock in trade the third expenses is employee benefit expenses the fourth expenses is finance cost and the fifth expenses is depreciation and amortization and the last one is other expenses when you add all together you will get total expenses B the next profit before tax A minus B less tax at 30 percent. The next finally you will get profit after tax. So this is the format of profit and loss statement. So now you have to fill this statement. As I said in the beginning, you should ignore the items relating to the balance sheet and you have to consider only the items relating to the profit and loss statement. So now let's see in your problem, what are all the items which are relating to the profit and loss statement. The first one is plant and machinery. You have to ignore this item because it is recorded in the balance sheet. The second one is furniture. It is also ignored because it is recorded in the balance sheet. Share capital. It is also recorded in the balance sheet. You should not consider this item here. And the next is sales. Sales rupees 3 lakh. So this should be recorded in the profit and loss statement sales rupees 3 lakh sales is nothing but revenue from operation so you have to record this amount in revenue from operation as rupees 3 lakh the next uh, see the problem if there is any other income you have to record it here so in your present problem there is no other income so now you can leave it as blank 
so now the total income of the company is 3 lakh so now the total income of the company is rupees 3 lakh and now come to the expenses what is the first expenses here cost of material consumed now in your present problem there is no cost of material consumed you can leave it as blank next purchase of stock in trade see the problem if there is any purchase given in your problem then you can record it here so in your present problem they have given purchases of rupees 1 lakh 80 thousand so purchases rupees 1 lakh 80 thousand in purchase koti dare aduna 1 lakh 80 thousand anna record maadta hoge next employee benefit expenses in your present problem there is no employee benefit expenses so you can leave it as blank next finance cost is in your present problem there are two finance cost for this you have to prepare separate working note notes to accounts so, one the kind of HO items in a one particular head deli and the head address. So, Agani Vain Madbeku separate agi working note ali nevo record Martha Hoktera. This is the format of uh, working note note number particulars amount. So, note number one. Finance cost. So, what are the two items? The first one is interest on debentures 30,000. Next, interest on borrowings rupees 20,000. So, now the total finance cost of the company is 50,000. So now you can record this amount in the statement. Note number 1, 50,000. So, new uh, working note ali record maadad mele yen total anna find out maadthi ra interest on debenture 30,000, interest on borrowings 20,000. So, total 50,000 finance cost agathe a 50,000 anna nii vayen maadthi ra profit and loss statement ali record maadtha hoogthi ra. Next, coming to the depreciation and amortization. So, in your present problem, they have given both depreciation and amortization. So, you have to show them in a separate working note. Note number 2, depreciation and amortization. So, under that, depreciation on plant and machinery. What is the amount of depreciation on plant and machinery? That is rupees 4000. And the next, amortization of goodwill. What is the amount of amortization of goodwill? That is rupees 6000. So now, add together you will get 10,000. So now, the total amount of depreciation and amortization is rupees 10,000. So now, you can record this amount in the profit and loss statement. As depreciation and amortization, note number 2, 10,000. The next expenses is other expenses. In your present problem, there is no other expenses. So now, you can leave it as blank. So after recording all the expenses, then you have to total one by one. 1 lakh 80 thousand plus 50 thousand plus 10 thousand you will get 2 lakh 40 thousand so 2 lakh 40 thousand is the total expenses so total expenses is to the 2 lakh 40 thousand is the total income is to the 3 lakh is so now you have to find out profit before tax so for this you have to deduct total expenses from the total income total income in the total expenses and then you minus mardaga nimage profit before tax is to another good target so the gain mark you 3 lakh minus 2 lakh 40 thousand you will get 60,000 3 lakh minus 2 lakh 40,000 you will get 60,000 next you have to 
charge tax at 30% on 60,000. Tax at 30% on 60,000. 60,000 into 30 divided by 100, you will get 18,000. Total income in the total expenses and the minus maadi aga nimge profit before tax is to not gutha gathe. Adad mele a 60,000 ke 30% tax and nivu calculate maad beka gathe. 30% uh, 60,000 ke calculate maad daga nimge 18,000 se gathe. So then nive in maad tira finally you have to deduct tax from the profit before tax. So, 60,000 minus 18,000, you will get actual profit of the company that is rupees 42,000. So, this is the net profit of the company. So, this is how we prepare profit and loss statement. First, you have to buy the format of profit and loss statement. Then only you can easily solve the problem. Now, let's solve one more problem. From the following balances, prepare statement of profit and loss for the year ending 31st March 2018 as per Schedule 3 of the Companies Act 2013. Sales 10 lakh, cash purchases 2 lakh, credit purchases 4 lakh, purchase return 20,000, power and fuel 30,000, consumption of stores 50,000, interest on bank loan 30,000, tax rate 30%. So here in this problem, all the items related to the profit and loss statement. So now let's solve the problem. As usual, before going to solve the problem, you have to write the format of profit and loss statement correctly. So this is the format of profit and loss statement. Statement of profit and loss for the year ending 31st March 2018, Schedule 3 of Companies Act 2013. Particulars, note number, amount. And the first heading, major heading involved in profit and loss statement is income. And the second major heading is expenses. So under income, there are two items involved. The first one is revenue from operation and the second one is other income. Revenue from operation is also called as sales. So now in your problem, they have given sales rupees 10 lakh. So you can record it in the revenue from operation as rupees 10 lakh directly. Direct tag in even maadbodu 10 lakh anna nivili record maadda hoogbodu. Revenue from operation andru vandene, sales anta heledru vandene. The next other income, so formatally other income idhe, problemally other income kutti idhe, new record maadhi illa anta heledre, leave it as blank. Next, the total income of the company will become 10 lakh. The next, we are coming to the expenses. You have to record each and every expenses which are given in your problem. The first expenses in the format is cost of material consumed. So, in your present problem, they have given consumption of stores. So, consumption of stores is also considered as cost of material consumed. The amount of consumption of stores is rupees 50,000. Next, purchase of stock in trade. So, here in your present problem, they have given both cash purchases, credit purchases and they have also given purchase return. So, here in the purchase of stock in trade, so in purchase, there are more than one item. But in the profit and loss statement, we have to record the net purchases of the company. So, you can get cash purchases, credit purchases and purchase return. So, you have to add both cash purchases and credit purchases. Then, you have to deduct purchase return from the total purchases. So, for this, you have to prepare separate working note. Note number 1, purchase of stock in trade. So, this is the heading. Purchase of stock in trade. So, under that, cash purchase. What is the amount of cash purchase? 2 lakh. Next, credit purchase 4 lakh. When you add together, you will get total purchase of the company that is 6 lakh. So, then you have to deduct. The amount of purchase return from the total purchase, then only you will get net purchases of the company. And that amount should be recorded in the profit and loss statement. So now the amount of purchase return is rupees 20,000. 
when you deduct 20,000 from 6 lakh, you will get 5 lakh 80,000. So, this is the net purchases of the company and this amount should be recorded in the statement as note number 1, 5 lakh 80,000. Next, employee benefit expenses. In your present problem, there is no employee benefit expenses. Now, you can leave it as blank. The next finance cost is, uh, there is a finance cost, finance cost. Under that, you should write interest on bank loan. So, what is the amount of interest on bank loan? That is rupees 30,000. So, now you can record it in this statement as note number 2, 30,000. The next expenses is depreciation and amortization. There is no depreciation and amortization in your problem. You can leave it as blank. Next, other expenses. Other expenses such as rent, repairs, power and fuel, etc. So, in your present problem, they have given power and fuel. So, you have to show it in a separate working note. So, note number 3. Other expenses, power and fuel. So, what is the amount of power and fuel? That is rupees 30,000. So, now record it in the statement as note number 3. The amount of power and fuel is 30,000. So, after recording all the expenses, then you have to make a total 1 by 1, 50,000 plus 5,80,000 plus 30,000 plus 30,000. You will get 6,90,000. So, now the total income of the company is 10 lakh and the total expenses of the company is 6,90,000. So, for um, and the next coming to the profit before tax. So, for finding out the profit before tax of the company, you have to deduct total expenses from the total income. That is, that is 10 lakh minus 6 lakh 90 thousand. You will get 3 lakh 10 thousand. 10 lakh minus 6 lakh 90 thousand. You will get. 3 lakh 10 thousand this is the profit before tax so after finding out the profit before tax you have to calculate the tax on 3 lakh 10 thousand 3 lakh 10 thousand into 30 divided by 100 you will get 63,000 you will get 93,000 so after calculated tax on after so after calculating tax on 3 lakh 10 thousand then deduct tax rate from the profit before tax then you will get net profit of the company or profit after tax 3 lakh 10 thousand in the minus 93 thousand 3 lakh 10 thousand in the 93 thousand and the minus mardaga nimge company net profit inu anadu gotagate a net profit and now profit after tax and tanu healthy so what is the profit after tax that is 2 lakh 17 so, this is how we prepare profit and loss statement. So, as usual, I repeat again and again, you have to buy the format of profit and loss statement correctly. Then only you can easily solve the problem and you can also score 6 marks. So, I repeat, uh, first you have to write the format of the uh, profit and loss statement. The first major heading is uh, income. Under income, it contains uh, two items that is revenue from operation and other income. When you add together, you will get total income. In case other income, kutila anta held daga, revenue from operation and total income agate. Next to expenses. So, expenses so as to ne format in idea adhana correct agi, uh, complete agi barita hogi as usual. As it is, cost of material consumed, purchase of stock in trade, employee benefit expenses, finance cost, depreciation and amortization and other expenses. In case of the items, if you have one or two, like finance cost, depreciation and amortization, you will have a blank. If you have any items, you will have to fill it. 
ಸೊ ಅದಾದ ಮೇಲೆ ನೀವು ಟೋಟಲ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಏನು ಅನ್ನೋದು ಗೊತ್ತಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಇಂದ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಮೈನಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಆ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ಗೆ ನೀವು ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ರೇಟ್ ಏನು ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಆ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ರೇಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಆಗ ನಿಮಗೆ ಒಂದು ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಅದನ್ನ ಎರಡು ಮೈನಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ರೇಟ್ ಎರಡು ಮೈನಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಕಂಪನಿಯ ಆಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಏನು ಅನ್ನೋದು ಗೊತ್ತಾಗುತ್ತೆ So I hope you have understood today's session. Thank you.